Glory be to God. Jesus has conquered. Hallelujah. And he has conquered. He has conquered forevermore. Praise the Lord. Our Father and our God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for the power that we have in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for the privilege we have to know you. We thank you for the sacrifice you made on the cross for our sake. We thank you for the blood of the lamb that was shed for us. Jehovah God, we say, may your name be highly exalted. No one, no one, no one can take your glory. We ascribe all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration unto you tonight. Because you deserve it, it is all yours. Be thou lifted up, O Lord. We join together under one accord. We lift your name above every principality. Above every power, above every throne. Above anything that exalts itself against the order of God. Oh, be thou exalted, Jehovah God. You are all powerful. You are the almighty. None can contend with you. Every power that is contending for the place of God over this atmosphere. We arrest you today. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ. We cast you down into the pit of hell. In the name of Jesus. Territory and spirit and power. Spirit that rule over the coast, over the air. We bind you tonight by the power in the name of Jesus. We render you powerless and useless over this atmosphere. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, let your kingdom come in this place, oh God. Let your power be demonstrated in this house today. We want to see you, Lord, like never before. We want to see you, oh Lord, in your raw power. We want to experience you, oh ancient of days. Jehovah God, you are the God that changed not. Come and manifest yourself like never before. Touch every life tonight, oh Lord. No one will be left behind. Everyone that come in contact with this service today. Let there be transformation in our life. A dramatic transformation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let it be so. In the name of Jesus. You anti-prayer spirit. You spirit of confusion. You spirit of distraction. We hereby come against you tonight by the power in the name of Jesus. We bind you by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. We send you down into the pit of hell. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I submit myself into your hand under your lordship. I ask almighty father that you fill me up, O oh Lord. Fill me up with yourself. Fill me up with your word. Fill me up with your fire. Fill me up with your anointing. In the name of Jesus, speak through me, O Lord. Use me as an instrument unto your glory. Let your name alone be glorified. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Amen. You see, people of God, the moment that I learned that uh, I'll be the vessel for tonight, I started to meditate. Amen. And there was one phrase that was so potent on my spirit. And what was that? I will wipe away your tears 
Praise the Lord. Thus says the word of the Lord. I will wipe away your tears. Many people have been crying. You have been crying even you hide away in your hiding place. You have that favorite place that you like to hide to cry. But I tell you there is no place that is too dark for the Lord to see your cry. There is no place that is too hidden that the Lord cannot hear your cry. But he has heard your cry and he has come to your rescue tonight. Let somebody say no more tears. No more sorrow. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. You see, for the Lord to want to wipe away tears, it means he has seen it. He has heard your cry. Praise the Lord. Before we go into prayer, I want us to go into the word of God, the book of Exodus chapter 3. Something that was peculiar to the rescue of the children of Israel. It was peculiar the fact that God heard their cry. He saw their affliction. There is something going on in our time right now. There are many people so worried about how they are going to make it. How is, am I going to make ends meet? How am I going to make it with this, this pandemic? Or oh, you have been laid off in your place of work. You need your need to be met urgently, but Jehovah God will meet your need today. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know if you've ever heard it before, but some in Nigeria will call him Jehovah Overdue. When you think you don't know how your needs will be met, Jehovah Overdue, he will overdo it for you. Because the Bible confirms he is able to do exceedingly great. More than you have thought. What you have conceived in your mind is too small as to what God can do for you. What you believe to be too big for God is too small as to what God can do for you. But I tell you today, people of God, the Lord God Almighty is about to do a dramatic miracle in our life. Oh, you just need to follow me with your faith. That's it. Just come with me with your faith. He's going to wipe that tears away. It is true. Nobody else has seen it, but God has seen it. He saw every tear that you shed. For every tear that we have shed this year so far. The Lord will, will pay your enemy with attacks in the name of Jesus Christ. So many people cry, but they cannot show it because you are in that position in the family that you have to be the strong one. You are the, the person that everyone run to. So you don't have room to cry in front of everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. But the Lord God that knows what you go through in the corner of your room. He has come. Let's read that scripture. Because the Lord said, now I am come. Deliver them. Ha! When God himself come to deliver you. He didn't send the messenger. He said, I am now come to deliver them. The Lord God has come to deliver you today. That means there is no captor that can hold you captive. Exodus chapter 3 verse 7 to 9. The Bible says, the Lord said, I have indeed seen the misery of my people in Egypt. I have heard them crying because of their slave drivers. And I am concerned about their suffering. Let somebody say, oh God, my father. 
Let heaven be concerned tonight about every situation in my life that is bringing tears to my eyes. Let there be divine intervention tonight. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let heaven be concerned tonight, O oh Lord. Let heaven be concerned tonight about every situation. Every situation in my life, bringing tears into my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be divine intervention. In the name of Jesus, let there be divine intervention. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. When you understand your position in the Lord, the way you pray will be different. It's often said that we are ambassadors of heaven. Amen? Ambassadors of heaven. That means you can call for some things to happen on behalf of the leadership of the nation that you are the ambassador for. If you call heaven to back you up as an ambassador, heaven will back you up. Praise the Lord. He says, so I have come down to rescue them from the hands of the Egyptian. Praise the Lord. Let somebody say, Jehovah God, arise tonight in your power. Come down and rescue me from every long time captivity. When you're talking about long time captivity, 430 something years is a long time. What captivity do you find yourself in? What bondage seems unbreakable in your life? Let me tell you something. When God is ready to deliver you, there is no cage that is strong enough to hold you down. Is he bars of irons? Is he made of bronze? Whatever the material may be, don't mind you. He is the creator of all the materials. So they must obey the voice of the creator. Praise the Lord. Let somebody say, oh God, my father. Arise tonight in your power and deliver me today. Come down, oh God, and deliver me today from every long time captivity in the name of Jesus begin to pray father in the name of Jesus Jehovah God arise today oh Lord in your power come and deliver me deliver my household in the name of Jesus from every long time captivity in the name of Jesus deliver me today 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 in the name of Jesus Christ Thank you, Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Let somebody say generational shackles. You know, there are some collective bondages. Praise the Lord. Collective bondage. That it's like you automatically experience because you are born into that family. Collective captivity. That everyone, everyone that flow into that bloodline must go through. People of God, let me tell you, don't even look close to your family first. Some people don't even know collective bondage, collective captivity upon the black race. Upon the black race. Collective captivity. And you see it manifest automatically. When you're talking about captivity, 
You see, people are so quick to label themselves. And you don't know that you're pronouncing bondage over your life. One, we say, I'm generation X. I'm generation Y. What are the diseases that are notorious to those groups? I am generation this. I'm the baby boomer. I'm this, I'm that. You don't know what you're pronouncing upon your life. They have certain infirmities that are notorious to those groups. Let somebody say today, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, I break free from every collective captivity. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, I break free today. I break free today from every form of collective captivity. In the name of Jesus Christ, collective captivity, making me experience the things that are flowing in my family. I break free today. I break my spouse free. I break my child free. I break my children free. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh, I am free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Almighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let's go back to that generational shackles. It is responsible. Hmm. Pause. You talk about the children of Israel we're talking about. Let's say people were living long at this time. Amen. They were living very long. But some children were born. Automatically, they are slaves. Automatically. They didn't ask to be born. But they were brought to life. Mind you, the commandment that still followed them was be fruitful and multiply. But they were multiplying. They're multiplying as slaves. Not as what God created them to be. They were multiplying as slave. But guess what? That generational battle passed its expiration date. But the devil will not assign one for us. But you will assign one for it today. It must expire tonight. Because if nobody dare to stand up. If no one stood up, the shackles would continue. They missed it in this case when they were in Egypt. Again, Daniel noticed from reading the books that is, the children of Israel should have been delivered. Again, they were not delivered. He was wondering why. Again, that shackles continued. Every power prolonging affliction in your life. Receive destruction tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power prolonging affliction in your life. Receive divine destruction today in the name of Jesus Christ. Let somebody say generational shackles. That is causing everything that is flowing in my family. To manifest in my life. Today. I command you to aspire. I command you to aspire. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray father in the name of Jesus Christ. Jehovah God. Every generational battle. Every generational shackles. That is causing evil to manifest in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command you today. You must aspire. You must aspire. You will proceed no further. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you almighty father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. You may have your seat for a moment, people of God. Praise the Lord. But the Lord heard their cry. He has heard your cry today. Mind you, you know what we're praying about today. He said, the spirit in me, I heard I will wipe away your tears. 
Praise the Lord. No more sorrow. No more tears. Praise the Lord. It is time. It is the morning for your joy to come. Hallelujah. That season of weeping expire today. Hallelujah. How many people are with me? If you're just tired, if you have had enough, praise the Lord, of the enemy causing you tears. Hallelujah. I want us to pray, people of God, because there are so many people that sit and wait. They wait for the day of your tears. Their joy become full by seeing your demise, by seeing your tears, by seeing you in sorrow. Praise the Lord. But we need to give them a taste of their own medicine tonight. You see, the, eh, glory be to God. The full measure. <laughs> That's somebody that means business. She's like, I'm not here to play. Praise the Lord. You see, that's the thing about enemy. Enemy does not play with you. Pause and think for a moment. Someone that derives joy from your pain. Praise the Lord. Someone that becomes happy inflicting you with pain. I want us to pray. Let somebody say anybody anywhere. That derives joy from my pains and my tears. From this day, I decree and declare that perpetual pain and sorrow shall be their portion. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. Anybody, anywhere, anybody, anywhere that derives joy by seeing me in pain and in sorrow. I decree tonight by the power in the name of Jesus, perpetual pain, perpetual sorrow shall be your portion. In the name of Jesus, I decree today by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, you will not know peace. In the name of Jesus, you will not know peace. In the name of Jesus, you will not know peace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. People of God, you may have your seat for a moment. There are some people, even of high caliber, the enemy back you to the wall. Cause you pain and tears. But you can't show it. You can't show it. But the Lord does not miss a drop. Your secret tears. The Lord sees them. Those. You know the worst type of cry. Is the one where tears not flowing. But you know you're crying. Your whole body is crying. You're like, like you know it because your body becomes weak. It means you have cried. <laughs> you can't produce tears. I want us to pray. Any power that has backed me against the wall. You see, you've been back to the wall. And it's like you can't push back. They've been saying who is going to save you. Ah, but guess what? The Lord said, I am come down that I may deliver them from Egypt. Let somebody say any power anywhere that has backed me against the wall boasting that who will save me Jehovah God surprise them with an attack tonight 
in the name of Jesus, begin to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, any power anywhere that has backed me against the wall, that is asking who will save him, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, surprise them today, surprise them today, surprise them today, in the name of Jesus, every power that has backed me, my household to the wall, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, surprise them tonight, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. You may have your seat for a moment. The book of Isaiah chapter 30 verse 19 says, You people who live in, in Jerusalem will not weep anymore. Praise the Lord. He said, the Lord is compassionate. And when you cry to him for help, he will answer you. He will answer you. Praise the Lord. I want us to pray. You've been crying in secret, but the Lord will give you an uncommon testimony. You see, that cry you do in the secret is about to be converted to a testimony that, that will bring you to the front. He said, I've been crying separately. Even some things that you cry about, you can't share with other people. You don't feel comfortable, but you cry to God, but he has heard you today. He has heard your cry. And he himself has said enough is enough. He has come today to deliver you and I. Oh, we receive that deliverance today in the name of Jesus Christ. Let somebody say, oh God, my Father, arise in your mercy and convert all my secret tears into uncommon testimonies in the name of Jesus begin to pray father in the name of Jesus Jehovah God arise tonight oh Lord arise oh Lord in your mercy convert all my secret tears convert them into testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ convert them today convert them today in the name of Jesus convert them today oh Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ convert all my secret tears into testimony in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, come down today, Lord. Come down today, Lord. Convert all my secret tears into testimony. In the name of Jesus. Enough is enough for crying. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Convert our secret tears into uncommon testimony. Uncommon testimony. Uncommon miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Before we move further, I want us to pray. Is there anything that we ourselves has done that is now causing us to cry in silence? Anything that we have done, praise the Lord, that is the key. We ask for mercy. You see, if God has mercy, upon us if we find mercy in the presence of God is going mercy is going to is just going to apply grace to the rest for you because you found mercy mercy praise the lord you know mercy works for us when we're supposed to be judged for guilt. Mercy wipes the slate clean because of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. That is what we enjoy. Let somebody say anything that I have done. That, I, that always bring tears into my life. Father, by your mercy, deliver me today from this bondage of sorrow. What is it that we have done? 
that always bring tears to our eyes. That always make you to regret. Praise the Lord. We need deliverance from it. And it's not by ourselves. Only God can deliver us. But guess what? If you have confessed it to God, God has forgiven you. Don't let the devil use it to rob you anymore. Praise the Lord. You have to refuse to wallow in the bondage of sorrow. Because the enemy will use it to his full advantage. Praise the Lord. Say anything that I have done. That's always bringing tears into my life. Father by your mercy. Deliver me today. From this bondage of sorrow. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Jehovah God, anything that I've done, anything that I've done, that I've always bring tears into my life, by your mercy, oh God, by your mercy, oh Lord, deliver me today. Deliver me today. Deliver me today from this bondage of sorrow. In the name of Jesus, deliver me today. In the mighty name of Jesus, from this bondage of sorrow, Lord, deliver me today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Let somebody say every form of sorrow programmed into my life. I terminated today. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ. You see, some people will start crying and they don't know why. There are some people, they, you, you can be looking at them right now. They are jovial and normal. The next thing you know is switch and they're crying. Praise the Lord. If you know somebody like that, stand in the gap for them today. And if that, if you fall into that category tonight, the mighty hand of God is here to set you free. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't care what name they gave it be from under the pit of hell or on above the earth. They may call it by bipolar, schizo, whatever name it is called. The Bible said he has been given a name that is above any other name. At the mention of the name of Jesus Christ, every knee shall bow. Schizophrenia has a knee. Bipolar has a knee. And he must bow. He must bow tonight by the power in the name of Jesus. Those spirits as tormentors, they are stealers of joy. They are stealers of peace. They are agents of the devil. I want you to pray tonight. Say every spirit commissioned to steal my joy. I arrest you today. By the power in the name of Jesus, I send you down into the pit of hell. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we stand on the power that you have given us. We arrest every spirit, commissioned to steal our joy. Hear the word of the Lord tonight. We bind you, we cast you down into the pit of hell. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Oh, I decree and declare tonight, the troubler of your peace will know no peace. You see, let me tell you something, and this should not be a secret. The person that's attacking you knows the value of what they're attacking before they attack it. Anybody coming after your joy and your peace knows what it feels like to have peace and joy. But they don't want you to have it. I decree tonight by the power in the name of Jesus. The troubler of your peace and joy. There will know no peace on this earth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever they go, peace will run away from them. 
In the mighty name of Jesus. Aha. When peace begins to run away from somebody, that person is finished. Praise the Lord. When peace begins to elude someone, they're done. Because they will always be looking over their shoulder. Like if someone is coming to get them. Praise the Lord. And someone that's always looking at their shoulder, would they have time to worry about you? No. They will, all, they will not even stay in one location. They will be running at a scatter. They will have no base. Come on now. Amen. They will know no peace. And if they know no peace, they can't shut their eyes. And the lifestyle will be short. <laughs> That's why you have to know the value of what Christ gave. He said, the, the peace I give to you. Because there is no peace in this world by itself. Because when we're talking about peace, we're talking about God. He's the only one that can give peace. Remove God from the world. You live in a chaotic place. That's why he said the peace I give to you. Without Jesus, you will have a sense of peace, but not peace. Praise the Lord. You have a sense of peace, but the peace of God is what allows you to hear that there's chaos all over around you, but nothing ever come near you. Is that you hear in the news that the person that lived in your neighborhood was attacked or even next door to you, but then you say, glory be to God. I've heard so many people that say there's hurricane, tree drop all over, and they miss their house. And they come to give testimony. Why do you think that happened? Because the peace of God, the peace of God, the same Jesus Christ that, that stilled the storm, I commissioned angels to steal those trees. You may touch everyone else, but this one thou shalt not touch. It's an embargo of safety upon your life. Embargo of safety upon your children. Embargo of safety upon your business. Embargo of safety upon the works of your hand. Embargo of safety upon your future. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Only in him are we guaranteed and secured. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I want us to pray. Take this two prayer point and we sit down for a moment. Amen. Amen. Let somebody say, every seed of sorrow planted for my sake. I uproot you and I set you on fire. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Jehovah God, every seed of sorrow planted for my sake. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I uproot you today. I set you on fire. In the name of Jesus, I uproot you today. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ, I set you on fire. In the name of Jesus, every seed of sorrow planted against my spouse. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh, I uproot you today. By the power in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You may have your seat for a moment. When you talk about the seed of sorrow, the seed of tears, let me, it's about to seem, it's, it's about to sound a bit controversial but what I'm about to say is not when the enemy sows seed he sows it from when you are yay high but you don't know the enemy may allow someone to hurt you like rape victims seed if there's no deliverance and they continue to live on like that Sorrow follows them. Pain follow them. Regrets follow them. 
Hatred followed them. Also, like someone that's abused. You think that the devil don't have agenda with that when someone is abused growing up. Yeah. Some people will ask question, where was God? Praise the Lord. Everybody, everybody, everybody that walked this earth, good or evil, know Christ or don't know Christ. The subconscious that you have that allows you to know good from evil is given from God. Because else, man will not know nothing. That part of everybody that lets you know what is right from wrong is a part of God. So the man or woman that arms somebody else knows what is right from wrong. Whether they gave their life to Christ yet or not. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. So when the enemy saw these seeds, he saw it in the very tender ages. Even some of us, if we, if we, if we really give ourselves time right now to think back, we can see some hurt, some pain that we have not released yet. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I remember very vividly, it was one, one, it was a long time ago. I had the privilege of ministering. I don't remember the message. And I received my deliverance during the message. Because there was something that happened in the past that was not released yet, but I never thought about it. But during that message, the Lord broke it and I broke down. You have to think. Is there anything that has been sown or done against you? Praise the Lord. That's been done against you. That's still causing you sorrow today. That's still causing you pain today. What I really, really want you to do is to ensure that you are forgiven that person, number one. But that's how the enemy sowed the seed. Because he's so patient. He's patient. His, in, his intention is to destroy future. But it's going to work from backwards too. If I can attack him this way, he won't have the boldness to carry out what is intended to carry out in his life because I have poured and rain abuse upon him it's not always physical abuse there are so many that have been destined to be great but your destiny has been rewritten by the words that proceeded out of your parents mouth they have rewritten your destiny by saying inferior words. And now you develop inferiority complex. You feel like you're not worth anything. Praise the Lord. Have you ever seen the illustration of the $20? Right? There's so many people, right? If I hold a 20, let's do a hundred, a hundred dollars. Even if it's small bill. And I say, who wants it? How many people will raise their hand up? Amen. If I bought it up, would you still want it? Amen. If I put it on the ground and stump on it, would you still want it? Amen. Did the value change? No. Hey, that's great. Praise the Lord. The money is still the same at the store. So in alignment with God's plan for your life. Whether the devil shook you, drop you, stump you, it doesn't matter. You are still going to be where God wants you to be. Your value does not depreciate in God. Your value does not depreciate in God. So today, whether you need actual tissue to dry up your tears, I tell you, dry up your tears because God is delivering you tonight. From that room, you don't even need to go back to that room of sorrow. 
Some people have that chair. That chair is even is shaped to your body now because you sit there all the time when you want to cry. You have your special place in the closet. No, I'm not talking about when you're crying to the Lord in prayer. When you're crying, you're just crying and weeping because of experiences. Praise the Lord. But I want us to take a few moments. If you know in your heart, and even if you're joining across the globe, you know in your heart there's someone that's hurt you and you have not released it. We always say here, we, we, are, we are realistic about things. Amen. You are going to remember because you don't have amnesia. But it's like you get a cut on your skin. You can fix, it can heal, but the scar will be there. It's the same thing. Holy Spirit help you forgive, but you will remember the situation. You will remember. But the key is, does it trigger something bad when you see the person? Does it trigger something bad when you remember it? That means you haven't forgiven. So I want us to ask the Lord to forgive us, to help us to forgive. Even right now, I don't have anybody in mind, but I will pray. I will pray that the Lord will remind me because I don't want to miss heaven because of anybody. So I want us to take a moment and also search and pray that the Lord will help us to forgive in the name of Jesus. Shall we just take our moment and pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, search our hearts, O oh Lord. Is there anyone that we are holding hostage in our heart? Help us, O oh Lord, to forgive in the name of Jesus Christ. Reveal unto us, is there anyone that we haven't forgiven? In the name of Jesus, that we may forgive them, O Lord. And help us, O Lord, to heal from the pain that they have caused us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Now, again, when you're talking about seed of sorrow, that we, we have something like a calendar or timetable of sorrow that, that the enemy will use. This, this is to kind of like set up a time of tragedy that will bring sorrow. Any such device or calendar shall be set on fire today in the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to pray. Let someone say every timetable or calendar of tragedy that is set to bring tears. At an appointed time, it shall not prosper. Today, I set them on fire. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, every timetable, every demonic calendar of tragedy set to bring tears to my eyes. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, today, I set it on fire. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ, I set it on fire. In the name of Jesus, I set it on fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. The psalmist says in the book of Psalm 56, verse 8, he says, you keep track of all of my sorrows. You have collected all my tears in your bottle. You have, rec you have recorded each one in your book. Some people think you cry and it's a waste. Some people say, oh, who's going to help you? You're just crying. Nobody's going to come to your rescue. Well, surprise for them. The Lord God has come to your rescue tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let somebody say, oh, God, my father. For every pain, for every tear that the enemy has caused me, arise tonight in your anger and strike them down. Oh, when you call God to arise in his anger, you're calling for trouble. You're call oh, man, oh, man. Just if you have read the Bible, if you have read the Bible, you don't even have to be the scholar. 
if you have read the Bible, where anything that proceeds after is, God is angry, oh Lord, it's not, it's not good. Anything that comes about where he says the Lord is angry, ooh, ooh, ooh. sometimes you don't want to read it. <laughs> like, oh Lord, I wish I was there. Like, why, why? I should have been begging for these people. <laughs> Oh, Lord, I decree and declare that God Almighty will never, never be angry at you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I prayed one prayer the other day, and I said, Lord, whatever I would do that will cause you to turn your back on me. Father, give me the grace not to do it. Ah. <laughs> Remember the Bible says, if God be for us, who can be against us? Why don't you flip it the other way? If God be against you, no. see, people will be running away from you too. Because now you'll be an outcast. Nobody can save you in that case. God will not be against us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Oh God, my Father, for every pain, for every tear that the enemy has caused me, arise in your anger. Strike them down. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Jehovah God, for every pain, for every tear that the enemy has caused me, arise today in your anger. Strike them down. In the name of Jesus, Lord, strike them down. Let your anger be kindled. In the name of Jesus Christ, strike them down. Strike them down. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Before we sit for a moment, let's say this prayer. Let somebody say, every power... That wants me to drown and die in sorrow. You are a liar. I command all your evil expectation to manifest in your own life. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, Jehovah God, any power anywhere, every power, household wickedness, every power anywhere that wants me to dr drown and die in sorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are a liar. You are a liar. I decree and declare your expectations shall begin to manifest in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, your expectations shall begin to manifest in your life. In the mighty in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. May we have a seat for a moment. Praise the Lord. As the psalmist himself is the, if the psalmist said, as he said in the book of Psalm 56, that the Lord knows your tears. When you're talking about tears, oh, David cried. <laughs> Praise the Lord. This man was faced with battles, but the Lord brought him through all. Amen. I want us to check out his example in the book of 1 Samuel. Amen. Chapter 30. I would like to just read verse 1 to 4 quickly. Amen. The Bible says, David and his men reached Ziklag on the third day. Now the Amalekites had raided the Negev and Ziklag. They had attacked Ziklag and burned it. And had taken captive the woman and everyone else in it. Both young and old. They killed none of them but carried them off as they went on their way. When David and his, and his men reached Ziklag... They found it destroyed by fire and their wives and sons and daughters captive. So David and his men wept aloud until they had no strength left to weep. Praise the Lord. They had no strength 
left to weep. I want us to pray. Let somebody say, Jehovah God. I am tired of crying. Arise and remove everything that is attracting sorrow into my life. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, Jehovah God, we are tired, O oh Lord. We are tired of crying. Arise, O oh Lord, in your power, in your majesty. Remove everything that is causing sorrow in our life in the name of Jesus. Let it be removed. Let it be removed. Let it be removed. Let it be removed today by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let somebody say, every planned, every planned demonic race to bring pain and sorrow into my life, into my family, I terminate them today. By the power in the name of Jesus, begin to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, Jehovah God, every plan demonic raid, every plan demonic raid to bring sorrow into my life, to bring sorrow into my family. By the power in the name of Jesus, I terminate it tonight. I terminate it tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. I terminate it today by the power in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Let somebody say, I stand on the power in the name of Jesus Christ. And I hereby decree and declare that my name, the name of my family, shall not be among those who will sorrow this year. People of God, there's so many people. I don't. I know his daddy that keeps that says it, and he said, "When the number that you see about COVID, that's the amount of family that's mourning over people. Your name, the name of your family, will not be among those that will mourn this year. In the name of Jesus Christ." Listen, people of God, it is not by our power nor our might that we are still here today. Whatever is going on out there is happening. Whatever the enemy meant it for is happening. But what makes the difference is God in our life. What's making the difference is God in our life. Praise the Lord. Again, still protect yourself. God will not come and put a mask on your face. God will not come and help you wash your hands and sanitize your hand. You should know hygienic. You should be hygienic yourself. God is not coming to do that for you. Praise the Lord. Why are you laughing? This is true. God is not coming to do that on your behalf. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Demonic raid. When you're talking about demonic raids, it's when the enemy come to steal things and you notice it. You feel it because it's missing. Praise the Lord. Demonic raids are the attacks on your finances. Before you even receive that money, it's gone. It's like what you're making, you're putting it in a basket. It's like someone putting water in a basket. What are you going to catch? You will keep fetching water. That's wasted effort. I decree and declare tonight, all your wasted efforts... There shall be restoration. I said there shall be restoration. In the mighty name of Jesus, there shall be restoration. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree tonight by the power in the name of Jesus. Your life, my life, our children's life become 
capture proof. You only know that what that means. It means you are untouchable. When you are capture proof, you cannot be taken. What did they take right now? When you're talking about the intentions of the enemy. Praise the Lord. You see, the intention of the enemy is let us hit them where it will hurt. What is the purpose of not slaying the women and the children but taking them with them? It's a war strategy. If I take what belongs to them, what is keen to their hearts, they will come for them. Who knows they have sat somewhere and strategized. You stay on this side, you stay on this side, and so when they're passing through, we will ambush them. But glory be to God, this is a sensitive man, a man of valor. That's not what saved him. But he always went to his divine compass before he make a move. He went to God. Should I? He didn't first talk about his pain. That part he know that God already saw. He know that God already saw. He just asks. I know myself, by myself, yeah, I am the captain. I can fight, blah, blah, blah. But should I go? Do you support this war? Do you support this expedition? Are you backing me? And he said, son, yes, I am. Go ahead. Now, let's talk about the miracle of them catching them. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I don't know if God multiplied the steps of the horse or whatever they were riding. But they caught up. They overtook. They recovered. You see, those times that you have spent crying, you recover them tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those things that you have been sitting in the corner, the reason you are crying, why? Let's be frank. The reason you are crying is because you believe that that peculiar situation is not going to happen for you. But I tell you today, you serve a miracle working God. Jesus Christ specializes in peculiar situations. He specializes in customized problems. Yeah. How many people had the issue of blood in the Bible that we captured? Praise the Lord. There's a reason it was one. There's a reason it was one man that's been sitting 38 years, right, at the pool. There's a reason, right? Praise the Lord. Your problem, your situation is peculiar. It's peculiar that God will reveal himself to you in his own way. Praise the Lord. When you go to sleep tonight, the Lord will reveal himself to you. Praise the Lord. He will show himself to you concerning that situation. In the name of Jesus Christ. People of God, the worst case scenario is not when someone writes you off, but when you write yourself off. So many, you've cried so much and you have written yourself off. You have written that situation up. What am I telling you tonight? That, that situation that you have closed the door on is the specific one that God wants to work on today. Why? Because you are exhausted your strength. You've been trying to do it by yourself. Now God will meet you where you are weak so he can take the glory. So he can take the glory. This prayer just dropped into my spirit. Now, I want us to take it.
and it's going to go like basically any problem any pro any situation that i'm passing through hmm, that is awaiting the day of the glory of god to be revealed there's some problem you pass through is just for the glory of god to be revealed all you're calling for is lord let your glory be revealed today there's some problem you pass through he's just waiting for that day is nothing else special about it. It's just for God to have glory. Let somebody say, oh God, my father. Every problem that, I pa that I'm passing through. That is awaiting your glory. Today, let your glory be revealed. In the name of Jesus, pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, every problem that I'm passing through, every problem that I'm passing through, just for your glory, just for your glory to be revealed. Father, in the name of Jesus, let your glory shine upon it today. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Some, sometimes, the Lord might just fold his arm. Amen. And you think you're going through this sickness for no reason. Amen. When he's ready to deliver you, he's going to take that doctor. He's going to take those nurse because the miracle is about to perform. He's going to have all of them dumbfounded. And you're going to say, I don't understand how it happened. But then you're going to say, I know it's Jesus. There was one of those cases that we I don't know if you guys seen on the news of one of the men that was diagnosed with COVID. And then before they came the next day, he was on his feet. And he said, Jesus visited me last night. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And this was on CNN. They were trying to shut the man down from saying Jesus. <laughs> But he said, no, 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 no. It's not the medicine that gave me. It's not the medicine. But Jesus visited me last night. Jesus visits you today. When, you see, when Jesus visits you, that's why I always laugh with the case of the man with the, by the pool. He knows your problem already. He, and he's a, he's, a, he's a visitor that always comes with blessing. When he visits you, order have to be in place. When he visits you, everything that is not of God, they have to be a shaking out. They will run away. He don't need to command them. Because they cannot be in his presence. They cannot stand and be comfortable in the presence of the Lord. They cannot behold his presence. So they have to go. The Lord God visit us today in the name of Jesus Christ. Even as we sleep, the Lord will visit us. And perfect his work in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. The Bible said two days later, David and his men arrived back at Ziklag. I want us to pray. Let somebody say, I stand on the power and authority in the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree and declare that the remaining days of this year, every day I go out, and come back I shall not arrive to pain and sorrow that's what they met that's a surprise to them usually when you go back home you you want to hear welcome home you want to hear peace be unto you you when then when you don't hear anything the whole thing is empty you see the places are burning that's not your expectation that's evil expectation 
it shall not come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. The remaining days of this year, we will not come back home to sorrow. We will not come back home to pain in the name of Jesus Christ. Let somebody say, I reject in advance every unexpected news of setbacks, of sorrow, of pain. I overturn them today. In the name of Jesus Christ, begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ today, Lord, I reject in advance every unexpected news of sorrow, unexpected news of setback, every evil report. I overturn it over my life, over my household, over my marriage, over my family, over my children. In the mighty name of Jesus, we overturn them today by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. You may have your seat for a moment. Amen. Praise the Lord. Stopping or saying that there is no more tears to some people, it will mean different things because people have different things that they're crying about in their life. Amen. And... There's some people that the reason they're actually crying genuinely is barrenness. It may not just be the fruit of the womb. It's like, why am I experiencing drought in my life? Amen. Why is it that nothing is moving forward? Why is it that you put in effort, but you don't see the results? Praise the Lord. I want us to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You remember the case of Anna very, very much. Amen. Amen. Witnessing children all over, but she can't have her own. But until the Lord decided to give her, what did she do? She cried out. Amen. And the Lord did what he alone can do. God would do what he alone can do tonight. Amen. Concerning that situation in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to pray. Let someone say every seed of barrenness. Springing forth from my foundation. I uproot and set it on fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to pray Father in the name of Jesus Jehovah God. Every seed of barrenness. Every seed of barrenness. Springing forth from my foundation. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ. I am pretty today. I am pretty today. I am pretty today. I set it on fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Seed of spiritual barrenness. Seed of physical barrenness. Seed of financial barrenness. In the mighty name of Jesus. I am brought today. I set them on fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you almighty father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let somebody say every cord of barrenness tied around my family that is responsible for spiritual and physical and financial drought in my life. I cut it off. What is that cord? What is that cord that's tying you back to your family? Because barrenness is something that's pertinent in your family. Now you're experiencing it. We're not only standing for ourselves today, we we stand for our family. Every cord that has bound us together into barrenness, we cut it off today. We destroy it by the power in the name of Jesus. Say, every cord of barrenness tied around my family that is responsible for spiritual for physical and financial drought in my life I cut it off I set it on fire 
in the name of Jesus, begin to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Jehovah God, I pray tonight, every cord, every cord of barrenness that has tied around my family, responsible for physical and spiritual and material and financial drought in my life, I cut it off today, I set it on fire, in the name of Jesus Christ, I cut it off by the power in the name of Jesus, I cut it off today, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let someone say, every curse of collective barrenness in operation in my family, I am not your candidate. I command you to break. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I stand on the power and authority in the mighty name of Jesus. Every curse of collective barrenness, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, oh, I command you, by the power in the name of Jesus, break now, break now, break now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When you're talking about collective barrenness, you can see sets of women in the same family don't have children. You'll be surprised to know barrenness can be husbands or wives too. That somebody will like you enough to date you, but not to propose and marry you. Barrenness in marital satisfaction. In marriage. With children. Whether it's the male or the female. Praise the Lord. That some, so, some people, it's not that this is bad. They have resulted, like, they have completely said, it's not going to happen for me. The only thing is, we're just going to adopt. You see some family, that's all they do. Generation, generation, they just adopt children because it's like the womb is shut. Come on, somebody need to stand up. Oh, we're going to pray today. It's not for us, but if you know such a family, we pray for them. We're standing in the gap today. When something is not right, there is no other name for it, but it's not right. But there is one thing I know nothing is impossible to my God. I don't know if you serve the same God as me, but nothing is impossible to my God. The same God that opened the womb for Anna. Praise the Lord. You see, my God can turn back biological clock. He did it for Sarah. He? She laughed. You say, how, how so can I give back now? And my, my Lord is already old. <laughs> Who made you in the first place? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God says, Abraham was still going to have a child. He was still going to have a child. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare. Every womb. That has been shot. From generation to generation. That has not allowed. Families to experience marital satisfaction. By the power in the name of Jesus, I command you to open now. Every demonic lock, every demonic agreement, every demonic covenant that is causing generational barrenness, I hereby break it today. I set to lead with the blood of the new covenant in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
that womb that is destroyed yes they have declared it it is destroyed I commend you today hear the word of the Lord receive the life of God in the name of Jesus Christ they have told you you cannot give birth anymore that you have to try other method but God says tonight I am not done with you yet I am not done with you yet I am not done with you yet they have told you you have to try another method hear the voice of God today the Lord God will perform the necessary operation tonight while you set your eyes closed and sleep, the Lord will woo your womb back. He will woo that womb back. He will bring it back to shape in the name of Jesus Christ. You receive your womb back in full. Because with that womb, you will carry your own child. You will carry and deliver your own child in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, you will return to testify. You will return to testify in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let somebody say everything buried on the earth. Being used to sustain and enforce barrenness in my life. I approve it today. Only us from Africa will understand what it's like to bury stuff on the ground. Amen. You say barrenness. You don't know what barrenness is until you see that what a desert look like. That's what you call barren. But guess what? God can grow things in the desert. <laughs> but to man, that's impossible. They will study it. They will try to prove it. But God can grow things in the desert. I don't care how long the drought has been in your life. But you just need the living water to pass through you right now. To pass through you right now. Moses asked for something. Show me your glory. And after that re revelation of the glory of God, his life will never be the same. Let someone say, oh God, my father, let your glory pass before my life. You just need, you just need the radiation from the, from the glory of God. You don't need the, the entirety. You just need some. You just need some. Yes, sir. Oh, and your life will whoop into shape. Thank you, Thank you, Praise, the Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. So many people's efforts. It's like no matter how hard you work, it's not fruitful. It's not showing anything. You put in so much. But at the end, you have to wallow in that seat of sorrow. Like, what am I doing wrong? No, the enemy has done that. The enemy has done that. But guess what? They've been in trouble as we've been praying all along. Because the Lord said, I am come to deliver them. He has come to deliver you and I. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Let someone say, every form of fruitless labor... In my life, I decree and name to them today in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. To some people, they have lost hope completely. Amen. Remember the case of the widow, the widow of nine in the in the book of Luke. Praise the Lord. And see, her son is gone. She don't expect him to return. But Jesus, the restorer of hope, 
he came and restored that hope. As he will restore your hope tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. There are many things that we have lost that cause us pain and sorrow. I want us to take that into prayer. Let somebody say every good thing that the devil has stolen from me. That has left me empty. Father restore them today. In the name of Jesus Christ, begin to pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Jehovah God, every good thing, every good thing, every good thing that the enemy has stolen from me, that has left me empty. Father, let them be restored. Let them be restored. Let them be restored. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. To so many people, not experiencing tears means you, are, you have to be delivered from this captivity. You know why you cry all the time? Some people feel like their job is a captivity. You feel like your job is a bondage. Then you need deliverance. You need deliverance and you need a new job. And the Lord is moving you. If he's a taskmaster that is set above you, they will be removed for your sake. In the name of Jesus Christ. They will be removed for your sake. In the name of Jesus. And when they need replacement, huh? you will be promoted in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let some say, oh God, my Father, with your mighty hands, Set me free today from every form of captivity. In the name of Jesus Christ, begin to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, Jehovah God, with your mighty hand, O Lord, arise, O God, and set me free. Set me free today, Lord, from every form of bondage and captivity. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed let somebody say yoke of oppression upon my life today I command you to break in the name of Jesus begin to pray father in the name of Jesus Jehovah God every yoke of oppression upon my life upon my spouse, upon any member of Global Vision Ministry. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to break. Break now. Break now. In the name of Jesus Christ, yoke of demonic oppression, I command you to break. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. For some, not crying means you are delivered from sickness and infirmity. Because there are some sicknesses that you don't have explanation for. But because you don't know, or they say you go to the hospital, they can't find what it is, but you feel it. You don't, they can't discover it, but you feel it every day, every night. So you cry about it. When is this going to end? I say it ends tonight. I say it ends tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let someone say every evil report. Upon my health. I terminate them today. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to pray father in the name of Jesus Jehovah God. Every evil report upon my health. Upon the health of every member of Global Vision Ministries. We hereby terminate them. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ, we terminate them today, Lord. We terminate them today, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, let them be terminated. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Almighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I want us to say this prayer, but if you know that sickness, you call it out. Or you don't have to shout it out loud, but in your prayer, God knows the name. Praise the Lord. So, but we're going to take it like this. You sickness and disease, but if you know what it is, be specific to God. If you have to quiet that part to yourself, just say it between you and God, but he will hear you. Let some say, you sickness and disease. 
in operation in my body. You have no power over me. I therefore destroy you today by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Jehovah God, every sickness and disease in my body, you have no power over me, but the power in the name of Jesus Christ. I hereby destroy you. I destroy you. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, I set you on fire. Be removed without a trace. In the name of Jesus Christ, be consumed without a trace. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let somebody say, every power projecting sickness and infirmity into my body. I command you to fall down and die. Fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, every power projecting, projecting sickness and infirmity into my body. By the power in the name of Jesus, I come against you. I command you tonight, fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, you must fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, powers projecting sickness and infirmity into my life, into my household. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to fall down and die. In the name of Jesus. Fall down and die by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Lastly, I'm just going to take this set of declaration over us and we'll round up and go tonight. Praise the Lord. I stand on the power in the name of Jesus Christ. And I hereby decree and declare that every pain, every sorrow that we are currently passing through, they expire today by the reason of the anointing upon this house. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that every tear that you are shedding in your closet, they shall dry up today by the power in the name of Jesus. Everything that is causing you to cry, heaven attend to them today. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord God Almighty, we turn all form of mockery in our life into miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ, in all areas of our lives, we shall be blessed. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, by the power in the name of Jesus. Every power that wants to use your children to make you cry. Lord, they will begin to sorrow. In the name of Jesus, those powers, we have no peace. That we have no joy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every power that wants to use your job, your business will bring you to tears. By the power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we decree and declare that sorrow will fall upon them. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord will satisfy us with good things. In the name of Jesus Christ, and everything that we have lost that causes us to cry, Day and night, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh God of abundance, arise. Let there be restoration today, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be restoration, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, in any area of our life, in our finances, in our spiritual life, in our academics, the enemy is bringing tears to our eyes. Ancient of this, we pray that you will uphold us, O oh Lord. Lift us beyond the limitation of the enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare no more tears, no more sorrow, no more tears, no more sorrow. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Almighty Father. Thank you, Lord, for counting us worthy. 
Thank you, Lord, for wiping away our tears. Thank you, Lord, for coming to deliver us. Oh, we bless your name, oh Lord. Let mockery and shame be the portion of our enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ, we cover our prayers in the blood of Jesus. We believe beyond any shadow of a doubt that you have done them unto us. We cover them all in the blood of Jesus Christ. We pray that what you have done tonight, they shall be permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. Signs and wonders shall follow us. Testimony shall follow us. All to the glory of your name. Thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name, God bless you all. We can do better than that. Please give God a hand of praise. Our God is worthy, is holy, he is faithful, and there is no one like him. Hallelujah. And our Heavenly Father, we exalt your name tonight. We worship you, we lift your name on high. You alone are good and faithful. You are righteous, you are the Lord God all by yourself. We thank you for setting us free tonight. For wiping away our tears. For breaking the yoke of barrenness. For setting us free from the bondage of wickedness. Jehovah, we are so grateful. We give you all the glory and honor. And tonight, we seal it up by the blood of Jesus. What you have done is permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. The yoke that is destroyed is permanently destroyed. The way that you have made is permanently made. Our heavens are open in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree with the decree of heaven that from this moment, things, good things that we have not been able to do, the grace, the strength, and the ability to achieve them, we receive it now. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh, that anointing, that decree, that pronouncement, that blessing that says be fruitful and multiply, we receive it now. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Heavenly Father. I commend your son that you have used to bless us tonight oh, to your hand, O oh Lord. I cover him with the blood of the Lamb. I pray that you will not become an echo. The Lord had made you a voice. You will not become an echo. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree with the decree of heaven that you will not disappoint God. The grace to do his will, receive it now. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will not become an abandoned vessel. In the name of Jesus Christ, Thank you, Heavenly Father. And as we are heading out, Lord, let your presence go before us. Let every crooked place be made straight. Let every valley be exalted. Let every mountain be brought low. In the name of Jesus Christ, we cover ourselves in the blood of Jesus. We cover the road in the blood of Jesus. We cover every household represented here tonight in the blood of the Lamb. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, what you have done tonight, there shall be no reversal. There shall be no reversal. It shall be permanent. And your name will be glorified. And when we shall return, we shall return with testimony. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Shall we share the grace together in fellowship? And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, His goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful weekend. Amen.